Hey guys, this is Chris from KRC Creations. I have been uh, making my uh, scoopable wax tart dessert candles. And I've made some. I still have some more to make. I still have to make monkey farts, which is like a banana thing. I still have to make pineapple, blueberry muffin, uh, peach cobbler, apple pie. So there's a few that I, I would like to make. Also pecan pie. Um, so, but this is what I have. I wanted to share them with you. <clears throat> this one here is in two fragrances. It has, um, on the bottom, this is, um, cherry amaretto. And the frosting is vanilla icing. And there is a cherry there and some candy shots. Um, there is... How much? I think maybe, maybe 15 ounces of wax in this one. Um, so yeah, and I chose to package these in uh, this these types of containers for a number of reasons. One, the lid goes on and it 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 air it keeps it airtight. Two, they're lightweight, so shipping doesn't add to the weight. And three, uh, they're inexpensive. And four. When you take the lid off, you have tons of room. You have very, you have all access to your melts. Um, something like a candle, like a jar or so. This is the one that, I was, that I'm using now. You only get just that circumference. You have to get around corners and things like that. But this um, type of container, it's like a deli container, um, allows for easy access to all the contents inside. Next one I have is Cinnamon Bun. This one is in one fragrance. All of it is Cinnamon Bun. Let me show you that. It has the Cinnamon Bun fragrance down here and in the frosting. I put six um, Cinnamon Bun wax um, embeds in there. And I dusted it with um, actual cinnamon. Um, and this one I think is maybe 14 or 15 ounces as well. So that's that one. Let me put these lids aside. The next one I have is a sugar cookie. So, <clears throat> uh, the bottom is in sugar cookie. Um, I wish I would have tinted it a little bit more orange. This is more of a peanut butter kind of or almond butter kind of color. I have to work with that. Um, but this one has, and all of it is in sugar cookie. This is the actual size that I want to do them in. This is a 12 ounce candle, um, 13 ounces with the embed, but I don't count those because the embeds are not fragrance. They're just for decoration purposes, but for actual usable wax for which I'm selling them for, you get 12 ounces, which is good. The reason why I don't want them as high as this one is because the wax gets on the lid. Um, the wax does not get on the lid here, and it's just a great, um, kind of has room on the top and everything. I think this is just really a better um, amount in this particular container, and this is a 16 ounce container. I think, yeah, this is a 16 ounce container. So with this one, I put some circular candy shots, um, and then I put some um, can some cookies, miniature cookies on top, and it smells delicious. It's a very buttery, sugary type of smell for the sugar cookie. I really like that one. The next one I did <clears throat> was in mint, ch um, chocolate mint. Um, and the whole thing's in chocolate mint. The bottom is in a chocolate color. And I did the frosting in a greenish color. And then I put some green uh, crystal sugars. And then it has five chocolate bars in there. And I have whipped uh, pipe texture on top. I think that one came out very very nice again it's in the 12 ounce the actual ounce size that I'm actually going to stick with there's enough clearance so that the embeds are not being damaged um, and the lid fits on appropriately um, so this is the perfect amount of wax for this particular container 
So I really like that. And that one smells delicious. This one um, is all messed up. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep this one. I have to figure out. This is watermelon. This is supposed to be a, a watermelon green. But it's actually a forest green. So it looks um, blue. And then there's a reddish color, and I kind of messed up and piped too soon. So the red is bleeding into the white. Don't want that to happen. And then we have our watermelon end beds with our confetti sugar sprinkles. And it has the whipped topping as well. This one is actually in less than 12 ounces. I think this is 10 ounces. So this one's too little. This, these are too much, and these are just right. So I'm working it out. So the last time I did this, I forgot to show you how these work. <coughs> Excuse me. So and or, there is no wick, as you can see. So when you use these particular um, types of candle melts, I have one that I have been using. This is an apple pie. And as you can see, I have been using the heck out of it. It smells delicious. All you do is you take your spoon and you just scoop this material out and pretend this is your wax melter and you just put it in your wax melter and it wet and it um it melts down. Now you look at the texture, it's soft, it's not overly greasy. Um, so that's good. Um, it's, it's fragranced really, really well. Um, because of the other oils that I put in, I don't know if that's the reason, but I'm able to put a little bit more fragrance, um, in this than I would if it wasn't a scoopable wax. Um, so that's a plus. Um, and this, two, two spoons full of this in my wax melter, it completely, it takes my whole downstairs and um, it's really really good so uh, this is one too so all you do if you have one of these you could just take like this doesn't have any fragrance in it so you can just take that out and everything else has fragrance and you just go in and you scoop it out like that see how easy that was to scoop out and you put it in your wax melter it's a small push and you just put it in your wax melter. And then every time you want some fragrance, you just go back and you scoop it out and you put it in your wax melter. You put you can put as much or as little as you want in it. So you um, kind of control the amount that you have. This one smells delicious. Yeah, this is a watermelon. Oh my God, it smells so good. Uh, so <clears throat> that's how you use these. Um, you don't have to be really overly concerned with the food items because you're not using a flame, so nothing's going to burn down. Uh, and it's just going to melt down. Everything will melt down, and you'll just have the sugar <coughs> floating or laying on the bottom in, in the wax. So um, these are my wax melts. Um, they will come in this size, um, like this. They will always have um, some type of frosting and some type of embed uh, that resembles a bakery item. These will only come in bakery fragrances. I am going to start doing my other fragrances like, I don't know, like um, Love Spell, which is not bakery, so to speak. But there will be in an 8 ounce container and all you have is just that wax. Um, you won't have frosting or embeds or whatever. You'll just have that wax and you'll be able to scoop it out and use it. It'll be colored. Um, but yeah, I think this is, um, I think this is going to do well, actually. Um, this one is sold and that one is sold. So as I'm making them, they're, they're getting sold pretty fast. I have to label these and deliver them tomorrow. But I hope you like them. Um, again, this is my scoopable um, soy wax candle melts. Um, I will not be selling wicked candles any longer. Um, and I hope you like them. Again, taking scooping this out is so easy. Just see, no pressure. 
it just comes right out in a soft like material very soft and it's not crumbly or anything like that so that's good and it has tons of fragrance so thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later I'll come back maybe a couple weeks and show you my other creations bye